Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In order to shed more light on the importance of uh, this visit, uh, we are very much delighted to have with us uh, over the phone Dr. Noha Bakr, Professor of Political Science and member of the Egyptian Council for Foreign Affairs. Good day to you, Dr. Mun. Good day, and it's a pleasure to be with you and with the audience of my TV. Thank you very much. Dr. Noha, uh, how do you see the importance of uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's visit to France? Now, this is his fourth visit uh, to France, uh, which comes in light of the strategic ties binding the two countries. How do you read that as Professor of Political Science? It's the fourth visit, and it's a visit for three days, which reflects that it is a long visit. Mm -hmm. And the visit comes... But from an invitation or because of an invitation of the French uh, President Emmanuel Macron within mm. the framework of the two countries' keenness yes. to develop the strategic relationship and the continuous uh, uh, dialogue between the two countries regarding the bilateral relations and regional and international uh, uh, challenges and opportunities. Yes. If we look at the meetings that the president will be holding, he will be holding a meeting with the prime, uh, French prime minister and number of ministers and senior French officials. Yes. He will be also meeting with the head of the National Assembly of the French Senate to present and to explain to them the Egyptian vision regarding different topics, such as uh, the situation in the Mediterranean as a whole and the eastern of the Mediterranean, the situation in Libya and e Egypt's vision regarding the crisis in Libya, combating terrorism and also the issues in the eastern of the Mediterranean and the, how Turkey is uh, trying to play a hegemonic role and to breach the international law. Mm. Uh, it's not only the issue, the issues are not only cooperation on regional level, but also on bilateral relations. And here comes the issue of the uh, cooperation, the investments, the French investments in Egypt. As we know, that the volume of trade exchange between Egypt and France amounts to two and a quarter billion euros hmm. a year, or it amounted to two and a quarter billion year in 2019. Yes. There are French investments in different sectors in Egypt, such as finance, service, communication, and these French investments are reflected in 165 French companies that is employing 38,000 Egyptian employees, uh, which, which is a very good uh, opportunity in Egypt, not only that we look for investments and foreign investments for uh, but also it provides employment to Egyptians. Yes. Uh, Dr. Uh, Bakr, um, um, if you would tell us more about the development uh, of uh, the strategic ties between Egypt and France uh, since uh, they have been working on uh, further boosting uh, their relations in several aspects. How do you see the development of Egyptian-French relations? Actually, this development comes on security level. We know that we have uh, military relations with mm. France. We've yes. been uh, uh, we've been purchasing uh, parts. We, after we diversified our military uh, equipment from uh, worldwide after 2013, so mm. we have new new uh, procurements from France. So on security level, on training level. Also, uh, on sharing the challenges of the security challenges in the Mediterranean uh, and on terrorism and on human trafficking uh, and on illegal immigration. As you know, that since 2017, not, not one uh, uh, vessel or not one uh, boat of illegal immigration have came out of Egypt, which is a success story. Uh, but it's not only the, the, the security and political uh, strategic relation, but also the economic relation, and which Egypt is very keen on. They are mm. very keen in Egypt on uh, attracting for uh, French investments, and that the French investors in Egypt also would expand their investments. Yes. We should not also forget about the cultural re uh, relationship between Egypt and France. We have the French Institute in Egypt that promotes cooperation between the two countries. We have the, uh, also the, the Institute for Research on Development, the Center for, for Economic and Legal Social Studies, and we are cooperating on climate change uh, with France. Actually, yes. it's, it's a long 
strong relationship uh, between Egypt and France that goes back uh, to uh, uh, decades and centuries. Both countries are keen on and both countries know the benefits of the win-win relationship between them. Yes. Dr. Buck, we talked about uh, various aspects of Egyptian-French relations. We talked about uh, political, uh, cultural. Uh, we, you just talked to us about uh, education and the cultural relations between Egypt and France and also economic. Now the two countries are working to further boost uh, their economic cooperation. If we go back to the political uh, side of the Egyptian-French relations, uh, Egypt and France share visions uh, when it comes to various uh, uh, issues, including the, the Libyan issue. How do you see uh, the Libyan crisis as stopping the agenda bit, uh, of talks between President Abd uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi and President Emmanuel Macron? And how do you see the common views over regional issues? Uh, I totally agree with you. Libya is a very important uh, file. Libya, uh, we have, uh, Libya is very important for Egypt's security. We have 1,200 kilometers of borders in, in, uh, uh, between Egypt and, and, and Libya. Uh, we also are keen on the security and stability of Libya because we have uh, emotional, cultural, historical ties with our Libyan brothers and sisters. So we're keen on stability of Libya, on the unity of Libya. We, our vision is derived from our, the main pillars of our foreign policy, which is the unity of Libya, not allowing foreign interventions on Libya. Uh, of course, we are uh, very much concerned about the Turkish intervention in, in, uh, in Libya and in the eastern of the Mediterranean. Uh, 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 we are very much uh, uh, concerned about Libya becoming a safe haven for terrorists because of the conditions are, uh, of being a failed state and uh, of the militias who are, that are in Libya. All these files, I'm sure, are discussed between the two presidents and are also discussed with the, 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 the French parliamentarians and the head of the French parliament that the president will be meeting. Yes. Uh, Dr. Bakr, back again to uh, the cultural aspect of the Egyptian-French relations. Now, you uh, kindly talk to us about education. Um, another aspect uh, is uh, tourism. Perhaps uh, we all know that the French people are passionate about uh, the Egyptian culture and history, and um, they are, are among uh, the tourists who come to visit Egypt uh, to learn more about uh, its history and its culture. How do you see um, the importance of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to uh, France in order to further boost uh, tourism and bring more tourists to Egypt? Of course, we don't look at the moment under our with COVID-19 and so on. We are looking for the, the future and how to sustain the, 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 the flow of French tourists in mm. Egypt. French people are very passionate about uh, the pharaonic uh, civilization and also about our sea and our mountains and so on. So yes. I think that these visits uh, reflect in some size the security in Egypt. Egypt also have been, uh, it has been mentioned in different report, uh, reports that we've been very well handling the COVID-19 crisis and uh, that we will be able to pick up soon so I think we're keeping the way to tourists to come as soon as we, 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 that, uh, we are out of this uh, global uh, pandemic. Yes. Dr. Noha Bakr, Professor of Political Science and member of the Egyptian Council for Foreign Affairs, thank you very much for your, uh, your precious input. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, a short break and we'll be right back to continue our special coverage of President Abdel Fattah Sisi's visit to France. Stay tuned.